All right, up next here tonight, AMR in the hot seat inside Buffalo City Hall today, finally answering lawmaker questions about slow response times face to face. 7 News first told you about those response time concerns over the summer when our I team also uncovered that AMR has been operating in Buffalo without a contract for four years. And reporter Krista Moran was there for today's meeting where both topics were up for discussion. AMR's regional director, Timothy Frost, addressed Buffalo's Common Council directly Tuesday afternoon following concerns raised over response times. We hear your concerns and quite honestly, we share some of them. Frost said challenges surrounding response times are compounded by hospital delays, staffing issues, and inappropriate requests for ambulances. Unfortunately, there is no silver bullet to, to solve that issue. However, there are things that can be put in place to help stem the tides of those problems. He suggested subscribing to a national nurse navigation program which sends expert nurses to low priority calls, and an I'm idea council members seemed in favor of. They absolutely believe that that would not only help response times, it'll help emergency room overcrowding as well. And what's most important here is connect people to the resources that they need. Buffalo Fire Commissioner William Ronaldo also took questions from council members regarding the partnership and contract with AMR, which expired in 2020. I was told Monday that that was because contract conversation stalled between AMR and the Buffalo Fire Department. I can't really speak to why it took as long as it has. Uh, part of the reason I think is because, uh, you know, they've been fulfilling their contract uh, obligations, even though there wasn't a contract in place. Why was there so much confusion around and who was responsible for negotiating this contract? Uh, not really. Uh, I don't think there was any confusion. Ronaldo says things are back on track with getting a proposal to AMR, which would include that nurse navigation program. That was the first official communication I have heard about the contract other than its existence in some time. We would love nothing more to, to have the contract portion of this answered. Krista Moran, 7 News, Buffalo.